Hey, what's going on guys? This is Adam from GHL Mastery. And if you're just new to go high level and you wanna understand and learn how the heck do you white label high level so that it looks like your own software, that's what we're gonna be covering in this video. But not only are we gonna be covering that, we're gonna be showing you how to do your white label and your API domains inside the high level ecosystem using GoDaddy, using Cloudflare, and using Namecheap, which are the three most common DNS management systems out there. So follow along with this video and get your high level app white labeled to your own agency. All right, guys, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through managing your DNS records through GoDaddy. Um, this is all boring stuff, but it's stuff that you need to know. So I'm gonna walk you guys through the important things that you need to know about managing your DNS inside GoDaddy in this video. So first of all, let's talk about the different types of records that you're going to be using and what they are for. Okay, first of all, your A record. Your A record is gonna be for the root domain. And when I say the root domain, I mean nurturebox.com is the root domain. So you've probably heard of www. That is actually a subdomain of the root domain. So when you're setting your A record, you're gonna set your A record for the root. And so oftentimes what you're gonna do is you're gonna set it at A, um, and then you're gonna do an at. An at simply means the root, right? So at means nurturebox.com, meaning wherever, whatever value I put here is going to point to this value right here um, and vice versa. So let's go into a sub account real quick and I'm going to click connect domain and I'm going to use demo1.joingghlmastery.com. Okay, I'm gonna hit continue. Now for this example, I'm gonna do it manually, but because I use GoDaddy, I could hit continue and it's just automatically gonna add that record. But we're gonna do add record and it's a C name record. So we're gonna do demo one at sites.ludicrous.cloud. So we're gonna copy that here. Gonna go back over into GoDaddy. Um, and then we're gonna hit C name. The reason that it's a C name, so this brings us to our second one. The reason that it's a C name is because it is now a subdomain of the main domain, okay? So www.nurturebox.com is a CNAME subdomain record. Um, app.nurturebox.com is a subdomain, which is a CNAME record. Demo1 is a subdomain and therefore needs to be a CNAME record. So I'm gonna type in demo1, do not add the dot, it's automatically gonna add it for you. And then the value, where you're pointing it to is gonna be sites.ludicrous.cloud. And that is going to create this record. I'm gonna verify. So there you go, that record is now created. So now that the record's created, I can come back over here and I can click verify record. And it's gonna take up to 30 seconds to verify that that record exists. And now once this domain is added to the sub account, I can now use this domain on websites. Um, and funnels inside of high level. So that is your CNAME record. Now the other ones that you're gonna have to know about are going to be MX records. Um, and so MX records are how you set up your mailing domains, which we're gonna be covering in a different video in detail. Uh, but if you're setting up things like Google Mail or you know workspace emails, you're gonna need to set up MX records for your emailing service to be able to send and prioritize email sending. So that's another one that we're gonna be using a lot inside the high level ecosystem. So MX basically means mail. Your A record is setting your root domain and your C name records are gonna be setting up subdomains of your main domain. And so that is kind of a really quick tutorial on all of the domain and DNS record stuff that you're gonna to need to know inside the GoDaddy platform. Next one, we're gonna show you guys how to do this in Cloudflare. See you in the next one. All right guys, next up we're gonna be talking Cloudflare DNS management. Very, very similar to GoDaddy. Um, so I'm not gonna regurgitate the information that I said before, but basically when you are in Cloudflare, you are going to add a record, which is what I've done here for ghlmasterybip.com. C name record is going to be app dot, and then we already went over this um, in a different video. But if I wanted to set up this domain to be used on a website, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna go connect domain. I'm gonna do demo1.ghlmasterybip.com. 
Um, so again, just make sure that this is your root and then we're adding the subdomain right here. And we're gonna hit continue. Add record manually. We've got our host, which is demo, and then our required value is sites.ludicrous.cloud. So we're gonna go back into Cloudflare. We're gonna do demo and we're gonna do sites.ludicrous.cloud and then we're gonna hit save. There you go. So I've added that C name record. The other types that you're gonna be adding are going to be your A record. And again, you're gonna use the at for the root. And then you're gonna use the IP address for the root domain um, that high level provides you inside the domain records. The next one that we're gonna look at is gonna be your MX records again here. And so with the MX, MX records, these are all gonna be provided for you, which we're gonna cover in depth in a different video. Um, but this is all gonna be provided provided for you. This is again for your setting up of your mailing domains inside high level. So there you go guys, really, really quick and easy, but that is your DNS management inside of Cloudflare. All right guys, we're gonna cover DNS management inside of Namecheap now. And if you've watched the other two videos, this is gonna be exactly the same. Things just look a little bit different. So we wanted to show you guys exactly where to find everything so we're gonna be in your domain list i chose demobot.chat and then we are in the advanced dns records right here so what we're gonna do here we're gonna add a new record um, and again the vast majority of the ones that you're gonna add are gonna be cname records so we're gonna go here we're gonna do demo dot sorry just demo and then we're gonna target not that we're gonna go into here i'm gonna go back out of this demo dot demo bot dot chat is going to be the subdomain for this we're going to add record manually and then we're going to do demo as the host and the value is sites dot ludicrous dot cloud so let's go back into here and we're going to paste that in there and there you go there is your c name record for your subdomain of demo dot demo bot dot chat it's kind of rhetorical but next up we're going to add a a record which again, you're going to use the host and high level is going to provide you with the IP address to point this a record to, and that's going to be for the root domain of demobot.chat, uh, which you can see right here. So this is the a record, this is the host, and then this is the IP address to set it to the high level servers. Okay. Now, one thing that is a little bit different from Namecheap than the other two is where you find the MX records. You'll probably notice that if you click here to add record, MX records don't exist here. And so what you actually need to do is you need to scroll down a little bit further to your mail settings and you change this to custom MX right here. And now you can add your MX records. Um, and again, we're going to get into this in a different video in detail how to add your MX records for your emailing domains. Um, but this is where you find it inside of Namecheap just so that you don't get too lost. All right, guys, let's start talking about domains. We're gonna start with GoDaddy. That's the one that I started with. It is my least favorite one, but it's also one of the easiest ones to operate inside of. So we're gonna start with GoDaddy and we're gonna start with the white label domain. I'm gonna show you how to do this in GoDaddy manually. I'm also gonna show you how to do it in Cloudflare and in Namecheap manually. Now, the nice thing about what High Level has done over the last couple of years is that they've made it stupid simple for you to oftentimes just click a button and add your domain and it'll automatically add all the DNS records for you. But I'm gonna show you guys how to do this manually today because I want you guys to understand the fundamentals of DNS and domain management. If you understand the basics of this, there's a lot that you can do with it. And oftentimes your clients might be using a third party vendor for domain management. And so you need to understand what you need to send those people in order to get domains set up and functional. So right now we're talking about the white label domain. So what is the white label domain? The white label domain is actually changing the login from app.gohighlevel.com to app.yourdomain.com. Um, and I often get a lot of questions about, hey, what should I choose for my domain? Um, my recommendation is that unless you've absolutely nailed down a niche, you choose something a little bit more generic for a CRM that you can 
resell to any company and it still makes sense. So we chose NurtureBox. I chose NurtureBox five years ago and it's stuck with us and it's been NurtureBox ever since. And so let's kind of get into it. Um, obviously, we need to migrate to the newest version, which I'm going to walk you guys through right now exactly how to do that. Um, you guys will just have a connect button right here. So you'll click connect, um, hit continue, and this will automatically add all of the records for you. But like I said, today, I want to show you guys how to do this manually so that you guys know how to do it yourself. So I'm going to click add record manually. And this is going to give me a record type of C name. The host is going to be app. And the required value is going to be white label dot ludicrous cloud. So I'm just going to copy this right here. I'm going to go over into GoDaddy. Now I'm already in my DNS management for NurtureBox. So this is going to look a little bit different because I already actually have a CNAME with app and I already have it set to go to the old location. So what you're going to do, if you've never set this up before, you're going to click add new record. You're going to choose option CNAME. You're going to type in the host name, which is app. So name here is equivalent to host inside go high level in the GoDaddy ecosystem. And then we're just going to paste in the white label dot ludicrous dot cloud and we're going to click save. I'm not going to do that because we already have an app. So this is going to give me an error and say, hey, this already exists. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go to the one that already exists and I'm going to edit it and I'm going to change it from message sender dot com to ludicrous dot cloud and I'm going to click save. Give me a second while I verify. This is another one of the reasons I hate GoDaddy. All right, so the C name is now added and updated for white label dot ludicrous dot cloud. And now that is going to automatically change the login from app.gohighlevel.com to app.mywhitelabeldomain.com. Now, one thing that's actually really, really important to understand here as well is that app.gohighlevel.com is still going to work for you. You can log into, you now have basically two places that you can log in to your CRM. Um, so what I'm actually going to do here just to show you guys is I'm just going to go verify records, come back here, make sure that this is done. All right. So that is now updated, but I'm going to actually log out of my CRM and I'm going to show you guys what this actually looks like. So here's my white label domain of app.nurturebox.com. So I can log in using my username and password, send your OTP code and log in. There you go. So now I'm logged into the back end. But what I can also do is I can go to app.gohighlevel.com and I can log in here as well. So it works on both accounts. So you'll notice that if I go to settings here, this is my company information. So it's all the same. So I can actually log into both locations at the same time. Um, you have the ability to log into both the app.gohighlevel.com as well as your white label domain. So, you know what, instead of making another video, I'm just going to go through the Cloudflare and the name cheap stuff in here as well. So stick with me and I'm going to show you guys how to do both. Okay. So let's start with Cloudflare. Cloudflare is our favorite. We like Cloudflare the most. Um, it can do the most and it gives us the least amount of headaches. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on ghlmastervip.com and I'm going to go and I'm going to manage my DNS records from here. And we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to rinse and repeat. So I'm going to click add record. We're going to do C name again, and I'm going to write in app and then we're going to paste in the white label dot ludicrous cloud dot com. Now with Cloudflare, oftentimes you do need to turn off the proxy in order to get this all to work. Um, so there you go. If I wanted to make GHL mastery VIP dot com our white label domain, this is how I would do it inside of Cloudflare. OK, guys, so next up, we're going to do a name cheap DNS. Um, we're going to go and use our demo bot dot chat. So in Cloudflare, you're going to see all your domains listed in your domain list. You're going to go over to manage and then you're going to go to advanced DNS and inside advanced DNS, you can add a new record just like this. And again, we're going to go and we're going to find CNAME record. We're going to do the host, which was app. This is the subdomain. And then we're going to paste in that right there. And then we could hit the plus button. And now we would have an app dot What's this domain again? Demobot.chat. That would be your high level login. 
And so there you go, guys. That's how you add your white label domain. You can do the exact same thing for your API domain. This time, we're gonna click this button here and we're gonna go add record manually and we're gonna do link dot. Link dot is the subdomain of nurturebox.com. So instead of www dot or just straight up nurturebox.com, we're creating a subdomain here. So link dot, let's go to brand.ludicrouscloud this time and we're gonna hit the copy domain button. I'm gonna go back into GoDaddy because that's where this one exists. Now, again, same thing as last time, we already have link dot, so I'm actually gonna go find it. It's right here and we're just gonna update this one. So it's a CNAME record again using link as the subdomain and then you're gonna do brand.ludicrous.cloud and we're gonna hit save. All right, so now we have updated our API domain to the new brand.ludicrous.cloud um, and it's gonna be the exact same process. And again, I'll reiterate, these are for all links that get sent out through trigger links, through invoices, through everything that's going to trickle down into your sub accounts by default. So there you go, guys. This is how to set up your white label domain and your API domain for your agency in those three core systems. Um, if you're using a different system, um, follow those instructions. They're gonna work for 90% of the use cases. The only thing that's gonna be different is just like you guys saw here, if I clicked modify, um, no, I don't wanna modify. Uh, when, I, when I clicked migrate, um, it showed add records manually. This shows host right here. That's gonna be the only thing that's gonna be a little bit different in each one of these. Right, so you've got name instead of host here. Um, in here, you've got host here, so that one matches. Um, and then in Cloudflare, it is name as well. So that's really the only thing that's gonna be different amongst almost all DNS management softwares and systems. So um, there you go, guys. That is how you add your white label domain and your branded domain to the agency or admin level. And again, those just trickle down into the sub accounts as we go further. Hey guys, I hope you found that video useful and helpful for you getting your company set up in high level and getting your white label started with the high level ecosystem. Now, if you're just starting out your journey in the high level ecosystem, or maybe you're even an intermediate um, or consider yourself an expert that just wants to know a little bit more about the high level platform and how you can leverage it, I would encourage you to go and click the link in the description below this video and hop into our GHL Mastery program. What do we do inside of our GHL Mastery program? Well, we have five calls every single day of the week, Monday through Friday for two hours a day where we actually help you get into your system, help you build, help you troubleshoot, and just overall help elevate your overall skill set on the high level platform. So if you're interested in getting hands on every single day support plus a couple of bonus goodies, snapshots, AI systems, the like, then go ahead and click the link below to join our GHL Mastery VIP group. And I promise you, you will learn more in one month than you will in six months doing this on your own. We will see you in the next one. Take care.